Your network is your net worth. Who's in your network and what is their net worth? Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Now, toasters, as you come in, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share. Hit the notification button. You do not want to miss this great content. Now, we've all heard the saying, your network is your net worth. And most times that's associated with money. And money does play a part with you having a sound network. Uh, but I don't want to focus so much on the money. I want to dive deeper. Because that's some stuff we got to get established first before we get to the money. Or show you how to get to the money. Uh, but money definitely plays a part in that net worth. Now, what is a network? A network is a group of interconnected people or things. That's a network. A group of interconnected people or things. What's net worth? Net worth is a person or a company's assets, value of assets, after or minus liabilities. So let's say that again. Net worth is a person or a group or a company's value of assets minus liabilities. There you go. So who's in your network? What people, what group are you interconnected with? What's their net worth? What's the value of them? What's the value of their assets? Of their, their principles or their values? What's the value of their assets? Minus the liabilities. Minus the liabilities. What's the value of them? Minus the gossiping. Minus the horn together. Minus the partying together. Minus, uh, you know, the drugging together. Minus the toxicity together. Minus all that being toxic. Minus all that. What value do they have? What are their valuable assets? What do they bring to the group? What do they bring to you? When we cut out all the liabilities. Because we all have liabilities. Some have more than others. But we all got them. But when you cut that off. Is it worth your time, your energy, your focus? Are they worth it? What's their true value when you cut the liabilities off? That's how you determine if that person needs to be in your network. Man, shout out to me. Uh, belated happy birthday to me. My birthday was on Tuesday, 22nd. And I had a great birthday, man. I didn't even do much, but I had a great birthday and it had me reflecting about my network and the net worth of my network. Uh, the wife's away handling some, some uh, personal business. And so I'm solo dolo. Uh, my sister, my cousin, uh, they asked me, man, what, what are you going to do for your birthday? I said, I'm, I'm not doing anything. Like, you got to do something for your birthday. So uh, tonight I'm meeting up with my cousin. Uh, but my female cousin, because I'm going to mention another cousin eventually. <clears throat> but I'm meeting up my, with my female cousin tonight. She's going to take me out. But Tuesday, my sister, my sister, who I just found out about five years ago. We found out about each other five years ago. Uh, took me out Tuesday on my birthday. And that's a whole different video. So I'll get into that uh, another time about that relationship and how we found each other and the backstory. Yeah, man, I got stories on top of stories. But uh, she took me out. And my brother Lee from the Power Circle hit me up. He's in town. He hit me up. He wanted to meet up. So I said, well, we're going to be over here. And so, you know, we can meet up. Actually, he chose the restaurant. A correction. He chose the restaurant. And uh, so he treated me. He treated me to, uh, you know, a uh, couple of drinks. You know, we met up. And then he said, well, man, let's, uh, let's hit up Lone Star. Another brother from the power circle. And uh, Lone Star and I have been out before. So Lone Star came through. He came to the restaurant we were at. 
And then I thought about my cousin, my male cousin, uh, Marcus. So when my cousin is in the high rise right around the corner, let me hit him up. So he came through. And uh, we got to talking about soul. Like, man, what soul is up to? Soul Immortal, the founder, the creator of the power circle. And so uh, Soul didn't come to the restaurant, but I met up with Soul a few hours later in another spot in Addison. And so we had a drink together. And, man, I was just thinking, I was like, man, a few years ago, I have never would have imagined, you know, I, w- I would do this, you know, meet up with some brothers. And... Uh, they're somewhat strangers, but they're not really strangers. I know that sounds weird. Uh, this is my first time meeting my, my brother Lee from the Power Circle, but we've been conversing over the phone for about six months, I guess, six to nine months. But this is my first time physically meeting him. I've only met Lone Star physically twice, you know, and met, met uh, my brother Soul Immortal for the first time about a month or two ago. And, and so... Uh, you know, I guess they're not strangers. We've been building a rapport for months and years, some of us. But I was like, man, these are some talented brothers, man. I don't have to tell you how talented Soul Immortal is, you know. Uh, but I think he's just scratching the surface. There's some stuff this brother's going to reveal and uh, really show you how talented he is. Lone Star with the music. So, man, that's a talented brother, man. The brother Lee, he's about to do some content, create some content. But he's talented, uh, wise, and knowledgeable beyond his years. Brother has an old soul, really focused. And uh, when you talk to him, when you look into his eyes and talk to him, you can tell this brother means what he says. And uh, just some sound, sound brothers. And I don't know for a fact, but I can imagine, I would think that all of us... uh, earn different salaries or bring in different amounts of money you know um you know them being two of the guys being younger than me but that doesn't mean they can't make more than me they definitely can there's a lot of people younger than me make more than me but typically you know an older gentleman should make more right uh he has more experience more knowledge typically but it, that's not always the case uh, but they're part of my network. And I don't even think about the money, how much money they make. I've never thought about how much a, how much money a man makes. What I do think about is, is this brother pursuing his purpose? Is he on a mission? Because the money will come. Yeah, I, man, listen, I don't care how much money you make. If you ain't happy, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, Brother, I ain't happy. I ain't passionate about what you're doing. No matter how much money you make. And, hey, I support you following your passion. And, and, and taking a pay cut. I support that. Uh, but that's what I focus on. Is this brother passionate? Where does uh, his scruples lie? Where does his principles lie? His, his morals. That's what I look at. And, man, these are highly intelligent brothers highly principled brothers and brothers that are on on a mission that are focused that encourage one another and man this is part of my network so our net worth is very very valuable very valuable you can't even put a dollar amount on it you can't there's gonna be a lot of great things coming out of this network a lot of great things, man. And you're going to see our net worth. Not just in money. That's going to happen too. Yeah, that's going to manifest too. All of us are going to take a different leap. Go to a different level. All of us, man. Uh, then yesterday, I meet up with my guy, Antonio Chambers. I had to give him a delivery. I got some hoodies and, and shirts for him. I toasted him in hoodies and shirts. That's going to be on my website soon, a toast to the men.com. It's not ready. Got to doctor it up. But that's going to be available. Man, nice, nice, nice 
uh, shirts and hoodies. And I'm just getting started. So I met up with him. We had lunch and chopped it up, man, for about an hour, a good hour. And just fellowship. And he brought up the power circle. He's like, man, Sundays are rough. You know, he has a newborn. He's like, it's just rough. Sundays are rough to get into the power circle. He's like, I don't mind paying the money. He said, but, you know, I just can't always be available Sunday, man. It's just rough, man, having this newborn. And, and uh, you know, he has a lot going on with the job and business. So I said, man, I, I get it. I get it, brother. But uh, when the time is right, it'll happen. But uh, he said, man, I would just love to sit in on that power circle, brother. He's like, man, the clips I've seen you post just are powerful. He said, I would just love to sit in, but it'll happen when it happens. But Antonio Chambers is another brother that's in my network. And his net worth is very high. His net worth is very high. Very principled brother, classy brother. And, uh, Man, I can't say enough about that brother. I've known that brother since high school. And uh, I'm proud of him. So, last night, I go to an event. A business event, a business dinner. Uh, via my cousin, Marcus. He invites me to this business meeting. All exclusive. Uh, private event in the private room of Perry Steakhouse. And uh, we had multi-millionaires. Multi-multi-millionaires pitching, you know, a business opportunity to me. Which I'm going to get in. But uh, I got there. Man, I saw some faces I knew. <laughs> I saw an old friend, DeMont Mathis, who I played Little League basketball with, went to junior high with, with the high school with. He's doing big things in the real estate business. I didn't know he and my cousin were that close. And then I see my another cousin of mine that had traveled from Kansas City, Missouri. And he's a practicing uh, licensed uh, attorney. And he's a uh, He's an he, he he's an information technology attorney for someone, and it's some other brothers uh, that I've known, and another brother we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, I'm gonna do business with. I'm gonna help him write his book, Jay Holland, and he'll he'll be on the show. But man, I'm just looking around. There's some women there too I didn't know, and then we got in conversations with some other people I didn't know, deep conversations. Man, it was just a joyous time people who are focused on a mission who are highly principled, highly focused in tax scruples that were making money too. But the foundation was solid. The principles were solid. The mindset was solid. The conversation was solid. And the money followed. I was in that room and those people were in that room with these multi multi millionaires because the decisions we made in life now all my decisions have not been good uh, and have not been righteous you can read the book I share a lot but I have made some good decisions especially I would say the last 15 years I've made some good decisions and uh, it's led me to this point it's led me to a point where my network is so wealthy, spiritually, mentally, intellectually, principally, and they also got bread. Man, you really need to focus on, you really need to take a deep look at your network. Your network. Who are you interconnected with? Take a good look at that. Who are you interconnected with? And uh, your net worth. What is the net worth of that group? What is the value of their assets? Minus the liabilities. 
your heart asset mind asset principles asset intellect asset willpower asset positive attitude asset now like I said we all got our liabilities if you if you get close to me it's just some stuff you're gonna have to deal with you know uh, I could be stubborn you know I could be quick tempered you know depending on the situation you know I, I don't back down from much you know so you might be like if we out and we get into it with some guys some guys are rude you know I'll try to be diplomatic but I don't do I don't do the talking I don't do the arguing the cussing and so you know that could be a liability though but we all got them. But I guarantee the value of my assets will be a lot more uh, uh, wealthier or greater. It will be a lot greater than my liabilities. I definitely know that. But take a good look at your circle. You might have to cut out some people, man, you do not want to cut off or just dissing them. But you really got to take a good look because your network, your group of people you're interconnected with is a reflection of you. It, it just is, man. Brother, I don't. And listen, man, I'm not saying I'm an angel, but it's just certain things I can't get involved with. Like, I don't get involved. I don't connect with men like the conversation got to be about women all the time. I, I don't like that. Like, man, it's more in life than women. I don't want to talk about women. We can touch on it, but I don't want to just be talking about women. Like, man, that's great. Let's 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 talk about you. Let's talk about me. Let's talk about creating. Now, I have no problem if we out me me me, me telling my boy, my brother, man, she got a donkey on her, man, and then we keep it moving. And he like, look, but we're not lusting. We're not trying to holler. She not even gonna notice. We noticed. I'm still a man. I still got eyes. But it's about those principles, man. I'm keeping it pushing. But yeah, I, I do notice a beautiful or a sexy woman. Yeah. But you keep it pushing, man. Keep it pushing. And so I don't even connect with brothers like that. Those brothers, those type of brothers don't even gravitate towards me. <laughs> well, you know, for some reason, they don't even gravitate towards me. So uh, that's just not part of my conversation. Uh, I'm about creating, about building. And it hasn't always been that way. I'm telling you, man, six years ago, I had a network of brothers that were totally opposite of the network of brothers I'm with now. Totally, totally opposite, man. Now, these brothers who I used to be networked with were working class brothers, family men. But there was a lot of unhealthy things going on. Mainly, they weren't by the mission. They weren't by the mission. They weren't by the purpose. They didn't realize that they were on this earth for a greater purpose than working a nine to five. They, they didn't realize it. And so I had to break away from that network. And it was a rough breakup because, hey, man, I get I get attached. When I love you, I love you. But I had to do it because the mission was more important. It was more important. And y'all, y'all be like sometimes, you're like, you miss such and such. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, but I got to keep it pushing. I got to keep it pushing, man. I could love you from afar, but I got to be about my business. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I had a great birthday. And it's continuing. Like I said, my cousin is taking me out tonight. And, man, the last few days have just been beautiful, man. It just allowed me to reflect and appreciate these brothers um, I'm in I'm in concert with I'm in network with and uh, man just just powerful and one of the brothers not one of the brothers Antonio said as we were talking talking about the power circle and I was just telling him how I met uh, Victoria and, and my boy uh, uh, Aaron uh, Foster my boy Aaron Foster's brother <laughs> uh Abdul, Abdul Foster, how I met them through soul. And the brother said, Antonio said something very important. He said, you know what? Soul is a tree. He said, soul is a tree. 
that keeps creating branches. I said, man, I never thought of it like that. I said, I have met a lot of brothers, a lot of people, women too, through soul. Not just brothers. I met some some great women through soul. Victoria being one of them. Uh, I said, damn. But he said, man, you know, book, you a tree too, bro. He said, man, you have connected a lot of people. I said, I never realized that. He said, yeah. He said, I follow soul because through you. I learned about soul through you. See, I never would have thought that because soul has a bigger platform. But it makes sense, you know, everybody doesn't come through your algorithm, right? So, I got people that follow me that may not follow soul. Although he has a much bigger platform. So he said, yeah, I follow soul be- because of you, man. He said, I want to get into the power circle because you vouch for it. He said, I don't know soul. He said, but I know you. I've been knowing you since high school. He said, so you're a tree too. I said, wow. wow. But in a sense, man, we all should be trees. We all should be trees creating branches and uh, having fruit on the end of those branches. The only way we're going to do that, man, you got to check your network. Check your network and then check that net worth of the network. As always, from me to you, love, peace.